Hi everyone, Nirvana Nail Person, and today I wanted to share my weekly makeup basket products that I used this past week. And today is Saturday, July 4th. Happy July 4th, everyone. So, um, in fact, you may hear, even though it's like 9 30, 10 o'clock at night, it's still with the fireworks outside. So, if you hear any popping or sizzling, they're still going strong out there. So, let's get into the makeup. Okay, so the whole purpose of this is to just share what I've used, um, follow up on some items that I had in hauls. Um, so that's generally the purpose of this share with you, what I, what I wore this week. So one thing I did, and I did throw a beauty blender in the basket, but I haven't used it all week. I've been using my fingers. God gave you fingers. I'm using them. So strangely enough, I've moved away this past week, I guess because it's a little bit hotter right now. It's been very hot in Vegas. So that's a good thing. I don't have to clean them then because they're a pain in the butt to clean. So some of the other products are basically the same. I've still been using my BB cream and my primer from Tarte. This is the BB cream from Garnier and the um, BB cream, the um, Tarte um, tinted treatment 12 hour primer along with the um, Garnier BBI cream as well. So that's pretty much what I wore on my face, which is what I wore in what I had in my basket last week. Um, this week the bigger addition would be this NYX um, the go-to palette and this is the um, where is it the name? Wanderlust palette. And I purchased this and I never really used it so that's the whole purpose behind this makeup basket. Throw it in and use it. So it's a nice palette. You can see you have your bronzer, your blush, your highlight, and six eyeshadows. I've probably wore this most of the days. And I can say that um, it's just okay. It was good. I wanted to see how the quality was. It didn't wear as long as I'd like it to. Um, and particularly the blush and the bronzer, it did fade away rather quickly. I used the eyeshadows with the Tarte CC Eye Base. Um, you can see it wore away, I'm trying to get rid of this baby. So it wore well with this particular product. I used mostly this color as a lid and then um, crease shade, a little bit of a highlight and maybe a little bit of combination of these guys on my eyes as well. So overall the palette was okay, not a fave, but nice. If, I guess if you're traveling and you need something quick, it has most of the items you would need. So nice product. And then some other products I used were my Laura Mercier. Um, these are the um, Caviar Eye Sticks. So the thought was if I had to leave and get out, get out of the house real quick, I would have some of these babies to wear. And I have, this is from the, the holiday kit. So these are like the deluxe size, I guess. And there's a fourth one in here as well. Um, I believe I used rose gold the one day. And then I tried the cocoa, which apparently I never wore before because it was quite deep on my... I. So there's Coco. So you can see it's really quite deep. So not definitely more of an eye for a, a, a base for a smoky eye. Can't wait for the naked smoky palette. Just saying. Just saying. And this is a fave. This is Moonlight. And this is just a um, like a taupe silvery shade. So that's a basic everyday shade that I really like using, and that's what's great about this one. And I also have the, I think this is rose gold, and that's a great like everyday type of shade as well. That you just throw and you wear like a one eye shadow and just smear it and get that effect of multi-dimensional. That's what these guys give you. 
Um, and then finally, this is Amethyst, which is another fave. So that um, spread evenly over the eye gives you a nice little, little, little shade of color on your eye without going hog wild and putting a bunch of shadows on your eye. So that's the Fort Laura Mercier, and I wore these maybe two of the days. Um, another product I pulled out, if I weren't using my NYX palette, I have the Clinique Cheek Pop and Melon Pop. See, here's the fireworks, and that's what it looks like. Everybody has this, probably, and it's just this wonderful nude type of shade. A uh, 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 coral, I would say. It's called melon, but it, on my skin tone, it's more of a pinky coral. So that is melon pop. So I wore that, and that's a little bit more long lasting than the NYX palette, and that's why I was glad I threw it in this basket. If I knew I was going, it was going to be a long day, I used that. Um, some other products that I've used, which I love. Um, let's see. I've been continuing to use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder to set the BB Cream because it's great in this kind of weather. It's been kind of humid this week, so it's a great product to set that, found, um, not a foundation, BB Cream. I also pulled out the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. And this is a great highlighter. Just, just fab-o. Fab-o. See, look at there. Let me just show you it. It's just a nice, very, very nice highlighter. Very happy with this. I would highly recommend this girl. This little girl. Very nice. I also threw my Hoola in here for, again, when I wasn't in the mood to pull out the NYX palette. So this is a big fave of mine. In fact, I've hit pan. So, um, love my hula. So, love throwing it in here. And I've been using, I want to say, I probably use this more than the NYX palette. I used it a few days and I wasn't happy with the wear, so I was using this guy. And, of course, I have my Naked Basics in here, but I tended to use my NYX palette. So, really didn't reach for it that much. So again, everything is pretty much the same as last week. Still using my ELF high, defini high definition under eye setting powder. Um, as far as eyeliners go, for eyeliners, I've been wearing the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in black. But I, when I wear a black, I really smudge it out. Which is why I like this guy, because it has the smudging end on this pencil. And this is pretty long wearing. This is a great product. I would highly recommend this if you're a pencil type of person. I've also kept my Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes in here in sun bron Sunstone Bronze. Love this, because this has the smudger as well. And for eyebrows, I've been using my Anastasia. Love that one. Um, this is in medium soft brown. Love this stick. These are great. I've also been loving the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper. And this is very similar to Benefit Gimme Brow. In fact, very similar and a lot cheaper. So... This guy is great. I would highly recommend this guy. Um, for lips, I've been using... Let me pull them out. Threw them in here. A combination of these two. Um, either on the days with lighter eye makeup, I would use the Too Faced Melted in Melted Coral which is long wearing. I, not extremely long wearing, but long wearing enough if I knew I wasn't going to be applying for a while. So, melted coral. And also my uh, MAC. And this is from that wash and dry collection. This is Cream de Nude. 
this cream de nude and that's and it's actually what I have on now so just a little little something so that was nice and I could show you the melted coral too the tips get all weird after you've been using them a while so it's a much brighter shade and then I I did put this in my purse but I forgot about it so I didn't I only wore I think Friday when I remembered I had it. This is Urban Decay's Ultimate Ozone Multi-Purpose Primer Pencil. So you can use this on your lips or your eyes. So I threw it in my purse to use on my lips. So I did use it once with the Melted and I honestly don't remember if I if it contains any feathering or just in general. So I will keep this in my purse again and let you know next week how I feel about this guy. So that's it. Everything else is the same. And then another favorite I've been doing lately is putting a little bit for that pop of color. Um, I've been using Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and Junkie, which is a green. So it's like a like a jade green almost. So it's pretty. And nice, nice wear on your eye. I actually like when it smudges out a little. So basically, that is it. So the biggest thing in what I experimented with this week is this guy, and I would say pass. I did purchase another one. I don't remember the name on that one, but it's just okay. So we'll try to pick something a little bit more fun this week. So. I'll see. All right. So that's it. Any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.